What's going on? It's me, Jay Renard. You know what time it is. Unboxing day. Let's get to it. Let's call it what it is. This was pure hedonism. I saw it, and I knew I had to have it. San Martin. And for the record, yes, this is yet another watch. However, this one is a bit special. I started looking for another type of watch or another watch from a different brand. I wanted to spread it out like I said before. So I've got a bunch of Seikos and I've got a Timex automatic. Oh, side note, I switched the uh, most recent Seiko to the Stingray, Stingray band. And um, so I was looking for something else and I wanted to spread it around a bit but uh, for whatever reason and maybe it's just the size and the weight of it um, been a real big fan of the dive watches so I was looking looking up a few and I came across uh, some that I liked and then I saw one that had a really beautiful color to it and then I started thinking I wonder if I can get some watches made out of this particular material and the material that I was looking at was bronze. So I started looking up if there were dive watches made in bronze. And I found a few that had bronze pieces or had bronze accents, but nothing that was you know, mostly or fully bronze. And then I saw this. So this is a dive watch, and I'm going to save the, the details of it for after I oh, uh, go over the rest of what all is in here. I don't recall this from the post, but they have included a, a NATO watch band, which truthfully, oh, it's not a NATO watch band. I was wrong. Ooh, I'm actually kind of pleased by this because it surprised me. Good stuff. Uh, one thing I do like about this is that it's a little thicker most of the other NATO straps that I have that I didn't make, they're just the one piece of either canvas or nylon. So I like that this is one solid piece that's made and then flipped over, as opposed to just one piece with the end flipped over and then stitched on. So, good job, San Martin. I like the, uh, the lower profile buckle. Doesn't come up very high from from the end there, unlike this one here, there's a solid half inch plus, if that, from the very base here to the top of the buckle. So I like that this is lower profile, so this might get some use. Ah, there we go. Gave me a removal tool. Gotta love that. Now, again, like I said, this piece is made from bronze, so it's got some of these pads here and this is for keeping it clean and buffed all right I'm liking the packaging so far so like I said I was looking for a bronze watch and I found it because uh, I really really do love the color and I found something that had the look and the color that I like to it. Uh, I like this rough exterior leather for the strap. But what sold it on me wasn't just that it was a dive watch and it wasn't just that it was bronze in color that you can see here. It was the artwork on the face. Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm loving every single bit of this right here. That is the 
Kanagawa Great Wave. I'm loving every single piece of this watch. Truthfully, it's given me everything that I wanted, which is why I'm so happy. So this is the first watch I've got with the with the Cyclops on the over the date there. Usually I prefer a day date. Uh, real similar to the uh, to the Seiko R36 uh, movement that's got the day and the date. The weight to it feels really, really good. Um, as much as I like to make my own bands, I like the look and feel of this. So I'm probably going to keep this for a while before I make another one. Check, flipping this over and checking it out. I do wish that the movement was visible back behind there. Uh, not a deal breaker, obviously, but eh, I kind of wish I could see it all. So this tool that's provided is not 100% necessary for this band, but it is necessary for this band because it has the quick release here. So I can just pop this off, no problem. But if I wanna use these, it doesn't seem as if there's a, a way to just swap these out. So I'm gonna to have to use a separate set of spring bars. And I don't see any here in the box anywhere, which is fine, but uh, out of the box, these two, uh, this ba these bands here, not really usable. It appears that this might be a screw down crown. Let's check it out. And it absolutely is a screw down crown. can see that it is off and sweeping. See if I can turn this down a touch so you can see the sweep a little bit better. Everything in here with less glare. All right. So again, protected crown, screw down crown, which I love. I'm digging the Cyclops. I love the artwork. Now I read somewhere that this was a uh, a Rolex Submariner homage. Um, I'm not sure how. I mean, I guess the uh, I guess this looks similar to the uh, to the Submariner. Uh, the uh, the hour hand uh, and uh, I mean it's not like submariners are the only thing with the Cyclops but uh, uh, the Cyclops over the date is I guess uh, a big feature of the submariner but I look at this and I don't think oh that's a Rolex or it's trying to be a Rolex so I don't know maybe that's just a uh, someone's or a few people's assessment um i don't see this as an homage or even a, a, a knockoff or an homage or anything like that i just see it as a a dive watch with some uh with a, a cyclops feature and a a, a, a triple a chamber i guess designed on the hour hand but i mean i don't see this as fooling anybody even from a distance but I mean, maybe that's just me. Uh, I mean, people making the blogs and making the videos, they, they're into watches far more than I am. So maybe they're right and I'm wrong. Uh, I'm willing to accept that and go ahead and take that. One thing that I like to test, and it's necessarily off camera because I have to move it closer to the microphone, is the winding of the bezel. Uh, so I like, I like when the bezel is you know, a little sturdy to wind, but also uh, not necessarily so loud. So. Uh, for instance, 
and this is about maybe a foot and a half, two feet from the mic. And no doubt the mic is picking that up, but it's not very loud. And this is literal inches from the microphone. So, not very loud. So, we'll try this here. Alright, so, noticeably louder, but really sturdy. I mean, if I really put some effort into it, I can make it move a, a back a, a bit, like maybe, but it seems like this is a really, really sturdy uh, ratcheting and gear mechanism on the bezel. And we'll bring this same distance. Absolutely louder. The San Marino dive watch with the great wave of Kanagawa face art. Bring this a touch closer. I am loving every piece of this. Uh, thank you for being here with this unboxing. I'm Jay Renard, and I'm out. Peace. Oh man, I totally forgot. That is ridiculous. I did not even try it on. What kind of an unboxing and review am I having? Alright, one thing I can tell right now, well, even before it's well on my hand, the edges are not rounded. They don't feel sharp. As in they would cut me or scratch me, but they're 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 not smooth at all. They they, they were machined well. They're cut down. Um, I like the feel of them, but again, it's a uh, noticeably comes to a a sharper point than the much rounded body of the the watch of the Seiko here. This crown is at the three o'clock and not the four o'clock, like the Seiko that I've got. It's gonna have to be further down so that when my wrist is bent, it's not coming into contact directly with the with the crown. Um, with this here, it doesn't look like it's stitched, but it is glued together very well. Regardless, it was a little bit tight and uh, tougher to uh, to move and bend so uh, when you do get it um, before you put it on maybe roll it back and forth like this to uh, break up some of those fibers make it easier to use but yeah I like this I like this a lot to be the size that it is and also to be bronze is not very heavy all right one thing that I did read about this particular watch or really just bronze watches in general it is made of bronze which is copper and tin and copper will tend to uh, or rather does tend to stain things sometimes which I believe is why some of this here was added uh -huh. don't use chemicals to clean the surface all right so here we go don't take a hot bath or sauna when you wear your watch water vapor will accelerate the aging dry environment and the mechanical watch is recommended to be placed on self-winding case i have one of those uh, bronze watch has the characteristics of oxidative discoloration which also adds to its charm in the initial stage it'll become mottled and uneven color will appear with further oxidation the color will become darker and more uniform forming an oxide layer called patina when wearing a watch leave a gap between the strap and the wrist now we're done thank you very much i'm jay renard and i'm out peace uh -huh. Oh my goodness. One more thing. The loom. Cannot believe that I forgot this. Brightening this up so it'll be easier to see. Look at that. All right, I'm not sure how in focus that is, so hold on one second. 
So the whole face is basically loomed. I will gladly take that. <laughs> good job, San Marino. Really, really good job. All right, now, now I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I'm gone. I'm gone.